Welcome to the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm Julie Tussie, and I'm the creator of this crazy and fabulous cooking show, the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. I have a great recipe for you today. I think you're gonna love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to make it, and I'm ready for my family to enjoy this already, and I know you will be. Now, on the Julie Tussie Show, we give you our original recipes, and as we're going, I will teach you how to lighten them up, and I call that fit and fabulous because I've lost 30 pounds doing the same exact thing with these recipes for myself. So you can have the original recipes and you can have the fit and fabulous version. Now, while we're shooting the show, we're also on Facebook Live. So hi, everybody on Facebook Live. Thank you for tuning in. And um, they're gonna learn right now how to cook this too. So here we go. How about some white cheddar chicken enchiladas with a sour cream sauce? Yeah. It's gonna be great. So we're gonna get started right away. I have in my bowl three cups of chicken breast. Now you can get a rotisserie chicken and take the meat off. You can use dark meat, you can use light meat, whatever it is that you like, you can use in this recipe. You can use ground beef, you can use ground chicken, ground turkey, whatever you have. I'm all about teaching you to use what you have in your house. So I have this, look at this, you guys. Mm -hmm. Shredded chicken, mm -hmm. and I actually put it in my Instant Pot. You can put it in a slow cooker. I put garlic on it, onion powder, salt and pepper. Oh, yum. Now. If this was just for me, I would have cooked jalapenos in it, maybe some red pepper flakes because I like it spicy. But this recipe is mild and you can heat it up any way that you want to. So first off, we're gonna take three cups of shredded chicken. You can do two, but I have a pretty large family, so I'm gonna make quite a bit. And then, thank you to my Gary Tussie husband. He, he shredded up white sharp cheddar cheese for me. So I'm gonna take three cups of this as you can see, look at that, mm, looks great. This stuff is the bomb. Now you can use whatever you have. Like I said, if you don't have white, then go ahead and use yellow shredded. I like, um, I always like sharp, it's better for me, but whatever your family likes. Then you simply toss it like this. All right, so there you go, looks tossed to me. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. You should smell this. I'm gonna set that aside just for a minute. Now I took tortilla shells, and these are just a medium size, but these are the soft and fluffy. I prefer those, they're um, flour. You can use corn tortillas also if you want to, but I think that these give it a much better flavor. So simply, this is so simple. You're gonna take your tortillas, and you're going to put the mixture in about, I don't know, half to three-fourths of a cup. You don't want it to not roll. And unlike a burrito, we are not going to um, fold the ends. We're just gonna simply roll this. We're gonna place this in a nine by 13 inch glass pan that I have sprayed with Pam. So we're gonna keep making these. This pack came with 10, and I'm guessing it's gonna take about 10 to fill this up. <laughs> So I'm simply rolling them like this. So those of you on Facebook, you can see, just roll them up, leave the ends open and put them in a nine by 13 pan. A glass dish. Now I have the oven heating at 350. And I'm simply gonna keep rolling until my pan is full. Isn't this, oh, it looks so good, you guys. I'm really excited about this recipe. Of course, you all know I'm from a big Italian family, and I grew up uh, loving Mexican food also. I think it's kind of all the same hot and spicy kind of thing, because Italian, you can make it hot and spicy. <laughs> so that's what I do anyway. Now, um, I told you you can use corn tortillas. I don't, think, I don't think they'd be as good unless you use like the white corn. Uh, maybe you're gluten-free like me. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to make a pan of gluten-free. So you can actually get gluten-free flour tortillas. Doing some switching around here, getting everything where it should go. So this is what it looks like, okay? Doesn't that look delicious? Look on Facebook, mm-hmm. 
bring it over here <laughs> to try and show you everywhere. All right, I'm gonna set those over here and I'm gonna make the gluten free because I could definitely eat these for a while, <laughs> for lunch every day for a while <laughs> or dinner. Now these gluten-free shells I found um, at Meyer, they kind of break a little bit easier, but I don't care. As long as I can have the pretend flour tortilla flavor, I'm happy. <laughs> and we're almost done with these two. Yum. Two more and we are done. So now we're at the stove and we are going to make our sour cream sauce. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, I have a stick of butter, which is a half cup of butter in here and I'm going to make a roux. Now you guys, roux are awesome. Um, many times with a roux, you will make your butter or oil or whatever hot, melted and hot. And then you put the flour in and make a dough. Today I'm using gluten-free flour for myself. My family never even notices that I do it. So I have found that I do better when I put in the liquid with my um, fat first and then stir in. So that's getting hot, so I'm gonna pull it off because I don't want it to burn me when I pour. Ready? I'm putting in um, a box of chicken broth. And yes, I used my Julie Tussie show leopard Tiffany ombre cup <laughs> because it was sitting here anyway and looked good. So I was like, I'm gonna do that. So now I'm gonna turn the temperature up to almost high. I want this to, to come to a boil. Hey, this is Julie. If you're enjoying the music on the program that you're hearing today, I want you to have your own copy. It's a CD that Gary and I wrote and recorded called And Dance. It's Christian blues and it's amazing. Get your own copy today at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 4. Again, that's cdbaby.com slash CD slash Julie Tussie 4. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. Visit John Rader Farm Bureau Insurance North Madison office for your insurance needs, great rates, and great service right here in Richmond, Kentucky. Tell them Julie sent you. Honey, let's go shopping at Bluegrass Marble and Granite. All right, but I really don't want to miss the game today. Bluegrass Marble and Granite of Richmond is Madison County's only local fabrication shop for granite, marble, quartz, and Dacton countertops. Visit our showroom to view full slabs of natural stone and schedule a free in-home estimate. Always have your drink on a rock with Bluegrass Marble and Granite. Go get! You too can get a blue and leopard cup right here from the JulieTussieShow.com. My own cup. Oh, and you can also get the pink leopard cup. So now we're at the stove and we are going to make our sour cream sauce. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, I have a stick of butter, which is a half cup of butter in here and I'm going to make a roux. Now you guys, roux are awesome. Um, many times with a roux, you will make your butter or oil or whatever hot, melted and hot. And then you put the flour in and make a dough. Today I'm using gluten-free flour for myself. My family never even notices that I do it. So I have found that I do better when I put in the liquid with my um, fat first and then stir in. So that's getting hot, so I'm gonna pull it off because I don't want it to burn me when I pour. Ready? I'm putting in um, a box of chicken broth. 
And yes, I used my Julie Tussie Show Leopard Tiffany Ombre Cup <laughs> because it was sitting here anyway and looked good. So I was like, I'm going to do that. So now I'm going to turn the temperature up and I'm going to put in a half cup of, I'm doing gluten-free flour. So it blends in really good. You can do it either way. I've done it both ways, but it's kind of lumpy when I make it the other way. So, and I'm stirring it in and it might look lumpy at first, but it will blend out as it becomes hot. So this is how you do it. And you see, I just put a little bit at a time, getting it in there. Now with a roux, what you're really making is almost a gravy. Many times it's a milk-based roux for, for things, but today we did chicken broth, butter, and flour. Now see that? This flour has blended out. There's not one single lump. So this, I know a chef would say don't do this, but on the Julie Tussie Show we have hashtag no chef shish because <laughs> I'm not a chef. And we will bring the chefs in when we want the chef shish. So a chef may say don't do it this way, but this is what works for me. And I know some of you do gluten-free too. Uh, you can do it with regular flour or gluten-free flour. So we're going to bring this to a boil and it will thicken up. Okay, I'm impatient, so I'm putting it on high. <laughs> I am putting it on high. Now you don't wanna leave your root and go do anything else. So you wanna stand right here and watch it, babysit it, care for it like a child until it's just the thickness that we're looking for. Hear it? It's starting to boil. <laughs> So that was 32 ounces of chicken broth. If you cannot get the box, you can actually use two cans with just a couple ounces less. And you can see when it begins to have a slow roll to it like a smooth roll. You can see that that's thickened up and it's like a gravy. So there we have our chicken broth roux. Okay, I'm gonna carry it over here. You can see that. I'll show you guys on Facebook. See, it's like a gravy. Can't see it on the other screen. So it's like a gravy. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take two cups of sour cream and we're gonna put it in here and stir it. Now if you have time to let it cool, go ahead because we're doing a cooking show. I'm not going to. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it right in. So we're gonna stir that in. Oh, this is gonna be so yummy. Now, if you don't like garlic and onion, I did wanna mention you can, you can actually put plain chicken breast in. If you buy rotisserie, I don't season it. I just use what that is. So I got that in, two cups of sour cream. Now I'm gonna put in two uh, or one whole can of green chilies. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. All right, that's all it takes. That's all it takes for this. So that roux is done. I'm gonna begin to pour this over. Let me make sure you can see that. Okay, I'm gonna pour this over top. Now I want these really saucy. So I'm gonna be generous, as you can see. Then I'm going to take and make sure that it goes down in between each one just by moving them a little bit. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is fantastic. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more on there because I have it. Now you don't have to use as much sauce if you don't want to. You can even cut the recipe in half if you're not a saucy girl like me or a saucy guy. 
Now I'm going to put some cheese on top of those, but before I do, I'm going to finish my gluten-free. Ah, looking forward to that too. <laughs> I was putting all of it on there. I don't want to waste. Find a healthier you at Campbell Chiropractic in Richmond, Kentucky. Safe, effective, and natural wellness. Get a free gift on your first visit when you tell them Julie sent you. The music on this program is off a CD that Gary and I made called And Dance. It's Christian Blues, and we'd love for you to have it. You can get it at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 4. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. You too can get a blue and leopard cup right here from the JulieTussieShow.com. My own cup. Oh, and you can also get the pink leopard cup. <laughs> I'm going to begin to pour this over. Let me make sure you can see that. Okay. I'm going to pour this over top. Now I want these really saucy. So I'm going to be generous. As you can see. Then I'm going to take and make sure that it goes down in between each one just by moving them a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is fantastic. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more on there because I have it. Now, you don't have to use as much sauce if you don't want to. You can even cut the recipe in half if you're not a saucy girl like me or a saucy guy. Now, I'm going to put some cheese on top of those, but before I do, I'm going to finish my gluten-free. Ah, looking forward to that, too. <laughs> I was putting all of it on there. I don't want to waste. So there you go. And I'm going to move them because it's going to bake down, you all. The sauce is going to bake down a little bit in the oven. And there you go with that. Now I'm going to put cheese on top of both of these. Now I chose to use the uh, orange sharp shredded cheddar because I think it'll look pretty. You can use whatever you have, I'm telling you. So we're adding one cup on top. Okay, and if, you're, if your family is cheese lovers like mine, go ahead and use two. <laughs> you can use two. All right, so there you have it. Look at this. Does that look delicious? There you go, Facebook. It's gotta go over this way to get it in the shot. There you go. Gonna put them in the oven right now for 20 minutes at 350. And we're gonna watch them to make sure that, that when they are golden brown and bubbling and the cheese is melted, they're done because the chicken is already cooked. So we're really just gonna heat them in there. This one too. So while that's baking in the oven, and does it smell fabulous in here, I am going to make some fast and easy salsa. Wow, when my kids were little, we would grow and still do green peppers, jalapenos, those kinds of things in our backyard. And so we learned to make this really, really fast. So I go to the store, you guys, and I just get a can of fire roasted tomatoes, which you can see in here. Yep, they're right there. 
So I get a can of fire roasted tomatoes, and then all I do is chop up fresh ingredients, put it in, stir it. You're going to be amazed. This will be made in two minutes. So I have a, a, half, a half of a sweet Vidalia onion. You can use any kind of onion that you want, but it can get strong. So watch out. I'm going to put a half, half of a diced Vidalia onion, half of a diced green pepper, Okay, this is a fresh jalapeno. If you get them fresh, they're not so hot. This is one whole big one, so I'm going to put about half of that in and leave the rest for myself later. And then I'm going to dice up, or actually just shred up, a little bit of fresh cilantro. I love cilantro. It's one of my favorite things. Um, the first time I went to California to go sing, I had it. It was the first time I ever had it in a restaurant and they put it in everything and I've been in love with it since. So there you go. That goes on top. Simple, simple, simple. Got a quarter of a lime, a fresh lime. Just going to put a little squeeze in there and some generous salt, you all. A couple teaspoons of salt. Then we simply take a spoon and toss it. Now, I make mine very, very chunky with other vegetables. If you do not like that much vegetable, cut everything in half or use two cans of tomatoes. Okay, so I like it. We all like it in our family to eat. We will eat pico, and this is just like a pico meets a salsa. So there you go. And there you have it, my fast, easy salsa. Oh my gosh. It smells fantastic. We're going to plate up the food now. Visit John Rader Farm Bureau Insurance North Madison office for your insurance needs, great rates, and great service right here in Richmond, Kentucky. Tell them Julie sent you. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. Honey, let's go shopping at Bluegrass Marble and Granite. All right, but I really don't want to miss the game today. Bluegrass Marble and Granite of Richmond is Madison County's only local fabrication shop for granite, marble, quartz, and Dacton countertops. Visit our showroom to view full slabs of natural stone and schedule a free in-home estimate. Always have your drink on a rock with Bluegrass Marble and Granite. Go get Stephanie Wells Master Stylist at Color Creation Salon in Richmond, Kentucky, specializes in custom hair color and precision cutting. Make your appointment with Stephanie today. Hair by Steph Wells. Beautiful hair they won't forget. The music on this program is off a CD that Gary and I made called And Dance. It's Christian Blues, and we'd love for you to have it. You can get it at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 4. You too can get a blue and leopard cup right here from the JulieTussieShow.com. My own cup. Oh, and you can also get the pink leopard cup. So it's been 20 minutes. I peeked in there and the um, enchiladas are bubbling. They look beautiful. The cheese is melted. Oh man, they smell great, you guys. Come out. There. Look at this one. Look at that. Is that divine? Oh my goodness. Look. Mmm. That is so good. All right, I'm gonna get these 
gluten free out and just let them cool. Perfect, perfect timing. So now we're gonna plate this up. I am so excited. Usually you'd wanna let them cool for a few minutes, but because we're doing television, we don't do those things as much as possible. Hopefully they'll come up out in one piece for me. Can you see this, Gary? Oh, they're so good, you guys. And of course, that's gonna get thicker. I'm gonna do it like this. It's gonna get thicker as it cools the gravy. I'm gonna get two of them. Yes, I was being very risky, it's what I do. Gonna put a little more sauce on them. Oh my goodness. Now this is what they look like and I'm gonna put some salsa on the side. We want to make sure we get a picture of this. This is beautiful. So there you have it. They smell delicious. They smell delicious. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. You can go to the JulieTussieShow.com and get many, many more recipes. We're also putting together a cookbook from season one because this is season two right here, our first episode. So we're excited for that. Thank you to John Rader at the North Madison Farm Bureau Insurance. And thank you to Campbell Chiropractic for sponsoring the Julie Tussie Show. And a big shout out to Bluegrass Marble and Granite. My girls, Lindsay and Audrey there will take care of your needs. They have the most beautiful marble and granite you've ever seen. So go check them out. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I'll see you next time. If life is my oyster, darling, pass the hot sauce.